These are 10 stakes, and this keyword has nearly 50,000 searches every month. Stakes for camping, on the other hand, has 299. Which keyword do you think is the best one to help rank your listing and use in your PPC campaigns? Before you answer that, let me show you something. When you do a search on Amazon, did you know that product listings that show up in the results are sorted or ranked in a particular order? It's not random. Ignoring the sponsored listings here at the very top because sellers paid to be here, the first or top organic listing here typically is the best seller. They have the most sales. The second best seller is the second organic listing and so on. So going back to my original question, do you see a problem? Amazon sellers are so hyper-focused on using high search volume keywords in their product listings and PPC campaigns, but listings are ranked by sales volume, not search volume. So now with that knowledge, what if I told you that 10 stake has a conversion rate of 6%, which means there's six sales out of every 100 searches for that phrase. Whereas the other keyword, stakes for camping, has a conversion rate of 52%, 52 sales out of every 100 searches. Now, which keyword would you choose? High volume keywords might seem attractive, but they can severely hinder your efforts to rank organically because they don't convert. You wanna focus on using high conversion keywords in your product listings, not high search volume keywords because you want the Amazon search algorithm to index your listing for high conversion keywords since it's sales that determine your listing rank, not search volume. On top of that, High search volume keywords can also negatively affect your PPC ad spend. When you pay for keywords that don't convert well, you end up spending a lot of money on clicks that don't result in sales, which eats into your profits. Let me show you what I mean. I wanna sell these screw in camping tent stakes. And these are the top five keywords based on sales. And these are the top five keywords for this niche based on search volume. And you can see that on average, they have 25 times more search volume. However, when we take a deeper look, the conversion rate for these keywords are nearly 26%, whereas the high search volume keywords have a conversion rate of only 15%. That means if you index for the high search volume keywords, you not only get far less organic sales, if you pay for these keywords in your PPC campaigns, you'd also be spending way more money since they don't convert as well. Remember, the goal is to generate sales. And if we take a look at the market availability metric, you can see that it says 82% here. What this metric is, is out of all of the total sales in this niche, the top three sellers are only getting 18% of the sales. All the other sellers are able to capture 82%. This is great because when you launch your product, your listing isn't going to be in the top three. And you can see for the high search volume keywords, this is only 76%. Not only that, if we take a look at the CPR metric here, this measures how many units you would have to sell over an eight day period in order to get your listing ranked on the first page of the search results. You can see here that you need to sell 13 units. Whereas with the high search volume keywords, you have to sell nearly five times more, 50 units. Can you see how this strategy is far superior to getting your listings ranked faster and much cheaper? So how do you put together a list of these high conversion keywords? Well, obviously we need a unique keyword research tool to help us. The tool we're gonna to use is from Sellerize called Keyword Hunter Pro. And like with any other keyword research tool, we need to provide a seed keyword to get a list of relevant keywords. So let's do a search for camping tent stakes. Keyword Hunter will then generate a list of relevant keywords. However, unlike other keyword tools, it also provides how many sales each keyword has generated. Exactly what we're looking for. And this is reflected by the semantic core metric that you see here. Keyword Hunter pulled up 751 keywords from the past three years of historical data. And these keywords are not only relevant to our seed keyword, but they are only keywords that resulted in organic sales. And this is a very important factor. We don't care about keywords that didn't generate any sales because they're not gonna help us rank. Remember, listing rank is based on sales volume, not search volume. Can you see how powerful this is? If you wanna follow along or give this tool a try yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description below to a free trial and a coupon so you can save some money if you decide to upgrade. Now, as you can see, this strategy is a completely different approach to keyword research. And what makes this even more powerful is this metric here, the average market availability that I showed you earlier. You can see that it says it's 
This means that this list of keywords that are generated, the top three organic listings are only capturing 30% of the total sales in this entire niche, making it a great opportunity for all the other sellers. If the market availability was low, like say 10%, that means the top three sellers are getting 90% of all the sales in the niche. And that's a huge red flag since it would make it nearly impossible for you to get any sales if you were to try to break into this market. Pretty powerful insider information, right? So what do we do with this keyword list? Well, like I said earlier, Keyword Hunter pulled up 751 keywords, but we're not going to use all of them. We need to clean this up a bit. We only want to use the best keywords to use in our product listing and PPC campaigns so we're going to focus on two metrics, the conversion rate and the market availability. What we want to do is remove all the low conversion keywords. These are keywords that have a conversion rate of less than 20%. That means out of 100 searches, 20 sales or less were made. And we can easily do that by clicking on the filter settings and in the conversion rate field, enter 19% here, just so we can capture those keyword phrases that are right on the borderline. Similarly, in the market availability field, we want to remove keywords where the top three sellers are getting most of the sales. We want to make sure that the rest of the sellers are capturing a good portion of the sales, since when you launch your product, you're not going to be in the top three. So let's keep the keywords where the rest of the sellers are able to capture at least 40% of the sales. And like before, let's enter 39% here, just so we can include the ones that are right on the border. Click apply. Now let's download this new list of keywords and open it up in Excel. And if you're on a Mac like I am, I use numbers. Notice that after applying those filters, we've narrowed down the list to 273 keywords. Now it says 273 because the first row is the column heading, so it's one less. Notice that we can see more details here. We can see the total sales each keyword has, as well as the total sales the top seller has, the second best seller, and the third as well as all the other sellers in the niche here in the other sales column. We can also see the conversion rate and the market availability. So what we're going to do now is whittle this list down a little bit more. The first thing we're going to do is sort this list by sales. We want only the keywords that have relatively high sales. Keywords with low sales isn't going to help us rank. So this sales column is the total sales in the last 30 days. I suggest removing keywords that don't have at least one sale per day. So again, just so we can capture the keywords that are on the borderline, remove all the keywords that have less than 25 sales per month. Now we're going to remove all the keywords that are unrelated to the product we're selling. So resort this list by relevance in descending order. Relevance is a metric that indicates how closely related the keyword phrase is to our seed keyword. So typically, anything 10 or lower is most likely not related to our product. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of keywords here that are unrelated to camping tent stakes. So go through the list and remove them. Like these are definitely not camping tent stakes. Hurricane tie down for sheds, stakes for trampoline heavy duty, camp broom and dustpan set, playground anchors, and so on. I noticed that there are some keywords like this Glow-in-the-dark tent stakes. It's a tent stake, but if you're not selling glow-in-the-dark tent stakes, then I want to remove this keyword too. Someone searching for glow-in-the-dark stakes isn't going to buy my non-glow-in-the-dark stakes, so I don't want to rank for this keyword or pay for it in my PPC campaigns. I also want to remove keywords for stakes that are not specifically for tents, like swing set anchors for metal swing set, RV rug stakes, sand screw for beach umbrella, metal landscape stakes, and so on. I only want to keep keywords that are my product. Okay, once you've done that, make sure you also go through the rest of the keywords too. Sorting it by relevance just makes it easier to identify the most likely unrelated keywords. For example, you can see we have tarp stakes, stakes for canopy tent, stakes for tarp, yard stakes, and so on. And make sure to remove any keywords with brand names in them too. Like you can see here, Coleman 10 stakes and Easy Up stakes. Now, once you're done with that, you can see we've narrowed this list down to 66 keywords, but this list might not be complete because this list is only relevant to the seed keyword that we used. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at the top three competitors and steal their best keywords. 
So navigate over to the top related products tab. Make sure it's sorted by sales, highest to lowest. And this first product here, click on the Amazon logo and then make sure it's the same product that you're selling. If it isn't, then ignore this product and pick the next one. So in this case, it is related. So go back to Keyword Hunter and click on the button here. This will open the product in another tool called Keyword Reranker. This will grab all the keywords that this listing is ranking for, as you can see here. There are 161 keywords. Now, like we did before, we're gonna filter out all the low conversion and low market availability keywords. You can see we've narrowed this list down to 98. Download this list and open it in Excel. Then repeat this step for the other top three related products. Then copy and paste all the data from the top three products into one spreadsheet, as you can see I've done here. And because all three competitors are trying to rank for the same product, there's gonna be duplicate keywords here, so let's clean that up. Now, this step is gonna be a bit different depending on if you're using Excel or numbers, but if you're using numbers like I am, Click on Organize, Filter, Add a Filter, Column A, Choose a Cell, and picked Is Distinct. Now, all the duplicates are gone. Okay, and now, just like we did before, remove all the keywords with low sales and all the unrelated keywords. Once you've done that, copy the entire spreadsheet and paste it into our original Keyword Hunter spreadsheet so that we have one unified list of keywords. The keywords we generated from our seed keyword and from the top three competitors. Now again, create a filter to remove any duplicates. Okay, and now this is a very important step. And depending on the size of the list, it can take some time to do, but make sure you do this. Do a search on Amazon for every keyword phrase on your list. Make sure to set the search to all departments and verify in the search results that most of the listings are indeed the product that you're selling. Remember, the product we're selling here is the screw-in camping tent stake. The key feature here is the screw-in type, so it doesn't easily pull out of the ground. So if we do a search and we see a lot of products that are not quite the same, then we're gonna highlight this keyword phrase. For example, metal stakes. Most of these aren't the screw-in camping style tent stakes, as you can see here in the search results, or J-hook stakes. You can see these results are showing stakes, but not for tents. So for these keywords, we're gonna highlight them and only use them for keyword indexing. So let's highlight them in yellow. Continue doing this for all of the keywords on your list. And when you're done, you'll have two groups of keywords. So separate the two groups by copying the highlighted ones and pasting them down below. Okay, and once you've done that, we now have our finalized list of the best keywords based on sales volume. The top group is the best keywords for your product and you're gonna use them in your product listing and backend keyword list to index your listing for the Amazon search algorithm. And you're gonna use these keywords in your PPC campaigns to help generate sales and boost your listing rank. Now the bottom group of keywords that you've highlighted, however, are not good keywords to use in your PPC campaigns because shoppers that search for these keywords might not be looking to buy your specific product, so you don't wanna pay for ads in those searches. You can find a link to a free trial for Sellerize, as well as a huge discount if you wanna incorporate this advanced keyword strategy for yourself down in the description below. Now, this video right over here will show you how you can get your first product reviews fast so they can boost your conversion rate during a product launch.